Well, well, thank you, Christian, and thank you for uh, inviting me. It's, it's great to be here. It's also great to be sitting next to Alejandra. Um, so you, the question of how do we incorporate ESG into our, into our business practices, um, maybe I start with how we see the topic, how we see the challenge around this. We see it as the single most important challenge that humanity has ever seen. I think Spanish banks are very well positioned. Banks have to make a good assessment of their customers, of course, in terms of emissions, but this is not all. You need to, to be able to understand. So this, it's about transition. It's about accompanying customers. And I'm sure Onur will be very clear on this, but this is a demand from the banks because the focus needs not to be just in reducing emissions, but in accompanying the customers. Our preference is working with each and every one of our clients today to make sure that they transform. How can we accompany them in this process of carbon reduction? That's how we look into the portfolio. Hmm? And um, it's a process. We cannot be leaving anyone aside. Every actor, even the oil and gas companies, we have to work with them so that they can decarbonize. What matters is not the starting point. We should focus on the change rather than the starting point. Well, I think in the short term, the priority has to be exactly what Onur was saying now. It's, it's putting more focus on the transition. It's easy to, do, to invest in green, but what we have to do is invest in the greening, right? In the, in, the, in the transition of many of the activities that are brown or brownish today, and they need to turn to green. So we have to create the right incentives and not focus just on the static picture of the you know, emissions that we are financing, but focus on how to um, reduce those emissions, no? how to help our customers reduce those emissions.